Hey what's up guys, Prakshat here now in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to change the color of the eye well I'm just gonna show you the before and the after this is the after and before changing the color of the eye this is how the image was look at this this is the stock image and if I change the color this is how it is gonna be like okay so let's get to the tutorial part of it to demonstrate I'm gonna sh you know delete this group com completely group and contents okay so this is the stock image now we want to play around with the eye so that we can change the color of the eye as per our requirement so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create or rather I'm gonna start with the elliptical marquee tool here and zoom the image until you find the eye slot so here we have the eye wow that's pretty this is an amazing photograph and by the way I found this image in DeviantArt okay so I'm gonna uh, choose my elliptical marquee tool and then try to make a rough selection for the eye it, it's okay if you don't make a perfect selection it should be at least rough I guess is I guess this is okay yeah look at this part this is not perfect I have this part in addition that's fine now I'm gonna press shift and I'm trying to make another uh, selection here yeah I guess this is pretty fine I mean we can later on tweak the edges so I'm gonna go to select modify feather so what this does it kind of like smoothens out the edges so what I'm gonna do I'll just keep the feather radius at 5 that's fine and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my adjustment setup here I'm gonna go to black and white so what this does this creates a black and white region in the selected area now look at this this part is not perfect that's okay I guess we'll be tweaking the settings in the end now I'm gonna go to my hue saturation layer create another hue, satura hue saturation layer and clip it to the black and white layer okay so what this does this just clips to the black and white layer I mean it, it just affects the black and white layer now I'm gonna go and choose colorize now we are halfway through look at this it just changed the color of the eye now as you can see this part right here I mean this part right here for identification purposes I just choose my brush here and bring down the size of the brush okay look at this this part right here is extra and this part right here we just made an extra and this part is not colored at all this region and this region is not properly colored at all so we want to fix it right now here now what I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna choose my black and white layer and turn it to black and start painting in regions where I don't want the color to be appearing so this region I don't want the color to be coming here and here right be careful because this is where everything gets tricky now I'm just gonna turn around to white and I want this uh, black to be even filled with the color that I want so here is it that's fine I mean yeah it's okay at this point if you want you can just turn it black and bring down the flow and just yeah slightly bring it yeah you can erase it so the whole idea is is to kind of like fix it in a way that it's okay and this is again too much and basically you want the last uh, boundary to be seen it doesn't matter what color of the eyes you have 
Okay. Here as well, I want this slightly turned the color I was looking for. Okay, this seems okay. Now, I don't want the black, the central black to be colored because that looks fake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and make it black here. And then once again, bring the flow to around 100 and then start painting in regions. So this is what it is. I have my black color here to the central black. And I'm going to repeat the same. Right now, you can see here I did an extra job, so I'm going to repeat that back here. Okay, so it's fine. I'm going to zoom out and check out if my coloring is perfect or not, at least up to a, up to an extent. Yeah, look at this. This looks amazing. So we just went from this to this. Now you want to change the color. It's pretty simple. Go to your hue saturation layer and play around with the hue so look at that whoa green so i like to keep it in you know i would like to keep it here you can keep wherever you want like this see we can even give a sci-fi look whoa here and optionally you want to intensify the color then you have the saturation saturation uh, option and you can kind of like move around make it more black and with that being done we identify that we didn't do proper color correcting here so what i'm going to go do is i'm going to go to black and white mask and try to get rid of uh, the extra color that i just did there so turn it to black yeah so that's pretty good now once again I'm gonna play around with the colors I guess I would like to keep it in this color you know here like so this seems okay now it's it's optional for you to proceed further because this is almost done but I prefer to keep it uh, I, I prefer to give some more intense look to the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the uh, adjustments. So first of all, I'm going to go to my levels and clip it to the region down there and slightly move this and go to my blue channel and very you know make a very subtle move there here i'm sorry move the output levels here right now this is good now we are getting to a good point okay next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my curse adjustment layer given a little bit of contrast to the eye like this and i forgot to clip so let's just clip it there look at this this is dark this is giving a good contrast okay next thing is to glorify the eye I guess this is fine uh, so we have done almost everything and you can play around with the uh, blending modes if you want here you can just play with the soft light blending mode overlay linear dodge linear dodge is like a devilish look go oh, lighten so I like I I'd like to keep it in normal. And finally, you want to give you want to make the eyes you know totally glorifying. You want everyone to look at the eye because that's where everything is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a stamp layer out of the layers that are present here. So I'm gonna go and do a stamp layer. Control Shift Alt E okay so this is my stamp layer <clears throat> now I'm gonna duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl J so this is my duplicate of the stamp layer and I'm gonna go to filter other high pass 
I'd like to keep the radius relatively high because this, this is where we get the HDR tint. So I'm going to go and approve it and change the blending to overlay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click Alt and press on the layer mask like this. So we have a layer mask which is black. Now I just want to give details to the eye. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brush tool, change it to white and increase the size of the brush and start painting only towards the eye region. Right. Here as well. Now look at this. Now this is where eyes are looking great. You want to make sure you paint the eye and the eyelids as well. Right. So, now look at this. This is a very good eye enhancer. And, you, and if you think it's way too high, then probably you want to play around with the opacity values. Lower the opacity. Probably give it 80 and fill. Let's say uh, you would want to give it around 80 as well. Now this is up to you. Now see the difference. This is the after, this is the before. Once again, after, before. So we just went from this, which was the stock image, uh, to this, where we changed the color of the eye. So that's all there is to it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. In case if you just happened to miss my previous videos check it out thank you